Welcome, everyone. It's Michael Murray with Benzinga. This morning, I have the pleasure of being joined by Evan Gappelberg. He's the CEO of Next Tech AR. We're talking with Evan about the background of the company and some of the things that make them probably the most exciting company, not just in the AR space, but as a multiple solutions provider as well. We're excited to get some background and share the story with Benzinga. Evan Gappelberg, CEO of Next Tech. Thank you for joining us. How are you? I'm great. Great to be with you today. It's a pleasure to have you, Evan. We are so excited to be working with you. And again, we're excited to hear more about not just your advancements and your progress as a AR provider in the, in, in the space, but also about some of the progress you've made financially, some of your progress in the, the horizon for Next Tech as well. So let's go ahead and get started with some background. We'd love to hear a little bit more about the company. Can we hear a little bit about you personally and your connection and just where this idea came from and, and what the progress has been so far? Sure. So my background uh, is Wall Street. Uh, I guess my claim to fame is uh, I took uh, Take Two Interactive Software Public, symbols TTWO, had about a $30 million market cap today. I think it's north of $15 billion. Um, and, and they're famous for uh, the, the video game uh, Grand Theft Auto. Um, but fast forward to today, and I'm CEO and founder of Next Tech AR Solutions, which I started in 2018. Uh, I basically saw that augmented reality, virtual re reality was going to be the next big thing. Uh, I look for mega trends. And so we raised some capital, about uh, $3 million to start, and uh, got public in 2019. Uh, the stock has done uh, extraordinarily well. Uh, I think it went up uh, at its peak about 40x uh, from when we started. Today, it's up about uh, 20x from where we began uh, back in in uh, in 2019. Fantastic. Well, that's like I said, amazing progress, and what a good background for you and for Next Tech as well. Let's talk a little bit more about what Next Tech does specifically. And also, I, I want to cover the recent financing you had as well. What can you share about that? Sure. So we're a diversified small cap uh, augmented reality company, which is very, very unique. And, and that's by design. I didn't want to be a point solution, you know, just offer an augmented reality solution, a single solution uh, like WebAR, for instance. Uh, we do have that as one of our solutions. But we are a multiple solution provider, which is why our name is Next Tech AR Solutions. So we have a solution uh, for the e-commerce market using augmented reality. Uh, you could see your product in 3D as an AR object. Uh, no app required. It's web AR. We also have a solution for the education uh, uh, industry, specifically higher education. So we work with um, institutions, uh, specifically Ryerson University up in Canada, and we've created augmented reality labs for them that are uh, super exciting. And now we're working with Microsoft as our partner to take those augmented reality labs to the broader market at large. We also have an events platform. We actually call it a digital experience platform. And that platform has all of our technology built into it. We're even building NFT uh, technology into that platform so that you could create your own NFTs. We also have an e-commerce division that we use as a test bed um, and within that division, we have a technology that I'm super excited about. It's called the genie in the bottle, where you could take your cell phone, scan the QR code on a bottle of vitamins or supplements. Uh, it doesn't have to be vitamins or supplements, but that's our first use case. And out pops the genie as a hologram. And the genie literally talks to you about what's in the bottle, the benefits of the supplement that's in the bottle, the history of those supplements. And, and you know, you could just imagine all the different use cases for all the different products. You could have a chef pop out of a, a, a mixer and, and tell you how to make, you know, some, some kind of awesome you know, bread or, 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 uh, uh, or you know, it's, it, it's kind of endless. Like, so the genie in the bottle is something we're really excited about. And we just actually launched uh, live streaming capabilities. So e-commerce, augmented reality, 
uh, education, technology, the events business. If you think about events, um, obviously in 2020, the whole world shut down because of COVID and Zoom became a big deal. Uh, we have, you know, Zoom is one-to-one. -one. We have a platform that's kind of one-to-many. So it uses uh, video, but it also has, has the ability for you to create a lobby. It has a speaker track. So if you think of all the events that go on globally, we have uh, what we believe is the most technologically advanced event platform because we've introduced augmented reality into the platform. What does that mean? You could be speaking as a keynote speaker, scan a QR code with your cell phone, pull the speaker out of the screen, put them in the room with you as a full-size human hologram. That's something that nobody else has, and that's a business that is taking off for us. Okay, great. That's a fascinating array of products. NFTs, absolutely a big uh, topic of discussion with the Benzing audience right now, as I'm sure you can imagine. So would love to dig into that one a little later down the road. But Evan, I want to switch gears. I want to dive into the numbers here. Eight consecutive sure. record quarters of growth for Next Tech AR. Can you tell us more about what makes Next Tech so successful? What's led to this parabolic growth? Yeah, so it, it turns out that we have uh, what everybody wants to buy. <laughs> so whether it's um, e-commerce products, whether it's augmented reality, education, uh, technology for education or, or or virtual events platform, digital experience technologies, all, all the stuff that we sell is what's in high demand in the marketplace today. And so if you look at our 2020 numbers that we just reported, um, we reported uh, 17, almost 18 million in revenue up from 6 million the prior year for um, the three months ending December 31st, 2020. Uh, we had 3.5 million in gross profit. For the 12 months, we had almost 10 million in gross profit for 2020. That's an increase of 143% and 3 hundred and twenty three percent compared to 2019 and a lot of it is because we're landing bigger contracts uh if you look at our client list it's a who's who of corporate america uh we've landed dell we've landed amazon we've landed bell canada we've landed the un uh the, the, we have johnson and johnson viacom Polycom, uh, for a young company to have uh, a, a parade of blue chip customers uh, line up and sign up for what we sell is very, very unusual. And it speaks volumes to what we're selling. Like I said, we're selling what is in high demand. We're selling what everybody wants. And that's really the key to our success is positioning the company with the right product mix for the market. I mean, if you're selling the right product, your business is going to do well. If you're selling, you know, rotary phones in a digital age, uh, good luck with that. <laughs> you know, if you're selling human holograms, on the other hand, in a digital age, that's what's in demand. Augmented reality, 3D product views, that's what people want. And that's what we sell. Okay, terrific. I think you just really addressed a couple of key points here that are, that are of major interest and really important to address. Next Tech is not just a growth story. You're not just an exciting headline like so many companies in the tech or the AR space are, but you're validated with your revenue and with your balance sheet, with the growth that you've had over the last couple of years. How important do you think being a multiple solutions provider in the space is to that growth? How much does that play into how far and how fast Next Tech has grown? That's a great question. It's critical. We, we, if we went out to market as a point solution, we would not be landing these multi-billion dollars, uh, these multi-billion dollar uh, multinational accounts. Um, they look for portfolio companies that they can grow with. Uh, they don't want just, you know, a, a point solution. Uh, so our customer base is the Fortune 1000 companies globally. And they really are buying what we're selling, A, because we have what they want. It's, it's, it just fits into their, uh, their sweet spot. 
but B, it's that we have more than one solution. We actually, I, I actually haven't even mentioned our ad network. So we have our own 3D augmented reality ad network. I think it might be the first uh, in market and we've integrated it into our digital experience platform. Uh, so we basically have our own walled garden, similar to a Facebook, using augmented reality, using uh, 3D and AR advertising, but it also works with 2D ads. And so it's this end-to-end -end solution that, that allows us to continue to grow uh, very, very rapidly and we see nothing but blue sky as we go into, uh, Q, you know, we're in Q2 now, Q1 2021, another record quarter in revenue. We haven't released the numbers yet, uh, but we're expecting them to be a, another record. So that would put our record at nine quarters in a row. And we see that continuing into 2021 and 2022, uh, 2023. We, we, we just don't see any stop uh, in the demand for what we are selling. Perfect. And Evan, you, you speak right into my next point here. As you said, nothing but blue sky ahead for Next Tech. And there is obviously so much more to unpack with Next Tech potential and the story ahead that I cannot wait to get into. But to the extent that you're permitted to share with us about the numbers that you have obviously coming out and the rest of 2021, what are your biggest goals or what are your biggest plans for the rest of this year and the next few years following after this in the immediate future? So for uh, 2021, um, we're looking to continue our rapid growth. So, you know, if you look at uh, 2020, um, we grew over 300% year over year. We're expecting that same kind of growth in 2021 and 2022. We are not slowing down. In fact, if anything, uh, we're getting our legs under us and we, we expect that we could accelerate. So we're doubling our sales force in the next 90 days. And then we're likely going to double it again. But the key to our success is really two keys. One is uh, doubling our sales force and then doubling it again to be able to service the clients. Uh, but also creating a self-serve platform that allows people to sign up just like you do for Zoom. You don't need to talk to anybody at Zoom. You just sign up. So we're creating that same kind of self-serve within our technology stack that will allow for you, Mr. and Mrs. Viewer, to turn yourself into a human hologram and beam yourself anywhere in the world. So if you want to visit uh, with a friend, with a family member that's out of state, um, if you're in business and you want to uh, showcase a product, you could stand in front of a customer live with the product in your hand, talking about that product, showcasing the product. You could be down in Florida. Your customer could be in San Francisco. And it's as if you're standing in the room with them. That is extremely powerful. And we have that technology. We're just building the self-serve. I've already turned myself into a hologram and demoed a vacuum cleaner. But you can imagine once we turn it into a self-serve platform, which is going to be in 2021, that everybody's going to want to use it. And so that's kind of, uh, I would say, on our list of exciting things for 2021, that's the most exciting to me. Well, terrific. Evan, I said it multiple times, and I don't think it could be overstated, even if I said it a few more times. So much growth on the horizon for next sec. Incredible to hear you talk about doubling your sales force twice over the upcoming months. We can't wait to watch the growth here. Obviously, so much in front of you. But Evan, we look forward to unpacking in future interviews and future articles, which will cover all of these details about next tech and your future moving forward. Evan Gappelberg, CEO and founder, thank you so much for this interview. Thank you. And maybe next time I'll be a hologram standing in everybody's room. <laughs> Evan, we would love to see that. And I think the Benzinga audience would love it too. Let's give that a shot. <laughs> Thanks, Evan. Thanks for the interview and take care. Yep, you too.